Hello everyone, hope you are all doing good. In the previous video, I said what students, parents and faculty has to do. My own, my main focus is about students. I said open your eyes. After that, it's my responsibility to see that after you open your eyes, what steps you should follow. And this video is resultant of that. This video's topic is steps to progress. I didn't name it as steps to success as everyone does. What I feel is success comes when you are progressing yourself. If there is no progress in you, then success will not touch you. And in that direction, I am making this uh, presentation. And this presentation again has only three slides. It might take 10 minutes or 15 minutes. See, you can dedicate 15 minutes to me. Why? Because I am talking facts and I am talking about you. I am taking my time to make you progress. Okay? It's, it's okay if you spend 15 minutes or 20 minutes on this video. And not only you, share this video to whoever uh, wants this kind of motivation. Why? Because no one talks about these things. It's not for like uh, views purpose, for yourself and for your peace self. If your friends are also progressing and if your friends also want support, help them in spreading this video. Now, if you see this topic, steps to progress, I said, if you are serious. If you are serious, then you can shape your life. If you are not serious, no one is going to help you. Even God will not help you if you are not serious about your life. So students, open your eyes. Coming to our first slide, you just see the topic. Review after you wake up and before you go to bed. Every day it has to happen. When I was student, so many uh, great personalities used to tell this. But I, did, I, I, I didn't take it serious. But after my third year of my engineering, someday I got this in my mind. Why don't I follow this? I followed it after my third year. Or, uh, I remember after my BTEC third year or fourth year, I started doing this. And whatever I am now is because of this only. Okay. Every day I review myself in the morning. In the morning, I have a habit of waking up at 3, 3.30. Okay. Once I wake up, I'll just review myself. What I have learned yesterday and what I have to learn today. Why? Because what you, if you know what you have learned yesterday, uh, you know what you have to learn today. Okay. Focus on this. And before going to bed, it's your wish. If you are doing the review in the morning, no need of it uh, doing in the night. If you are a night owl, then do it in the night. Why? Because uh, these days, most of the students are working in the night. I don't complain about it, but it's your wish. If you are doing something great in the night, do it. No one is going to stop you. But it's always good to do everything in the morning. Okay, keeping that aside, if you, if you just review what you have done, then you'll get to know what where you are progressing. Okay, first point, what new thing or topic you have learned in a day? If you are not learning anything or any topic in a day, then your day is waste. And see, see my friends, remember this, you are going to live on this planet earth for just 65 years to 75 years. I am talking about average age of an Indian or average age of anyone on this world. Okay. In this, in this 65 to uh, 75 years where you are uh, leading your life, 15 years, your first 15 years to 20 years is gone uh, with what you are learning. After this, you have to, after your 15th year or 16th year, you have to learn new things or new topics in your life. And every day you have to review about it. Otherwise, you are a gone case. I am telling you, you are a loser. 
if you are not doing it okay so concentrate on that see how how you can learn go on tedx i don't know how many of you know most of you know that there is a uh, there is a youtube platform called tedx you go on it you can learn so many new things about anything you want you just type uh, type the uh, type the topic name and tedx you'll get it you want to uh, learn about animals type animals tedx you want to learn about food food tedx you want to learn about uh, what kind of job roles are there in the market type it and tedx why i am uh, telling tedx why because it's a uh, source which is which is helpful and which is uh, seen by many of uh, people okay so this is what you have to do you have to learn something new a new topic in a day so that it will it will lead you uh, to progress and it will help you in progressing in your life second point many of the, uh, many of uh, successful people tell to have a short term goal and long term goal it's very good to have let's take an example you want to become a web developer or you want to become an ai engineer or data science engineer what would be your short term goal if you want to become that at least you have to learn some web technologies you have to learn some uh, tools which are required for data science engineer or ai engineer what are those if you go if you if you come to web web application you have to learn java you have to learn some html css course at least minimum is that come to ai uh, ai or data science engineer if you want to become that you have to learn some programming languages like c python at least you have to learn that until unless you don't know that how do you become a data science engineer dreaming is good but steps to uh, steps to progress is also important so your short term goal would be learning those tools which leads you to become uh, your uh, to to get your dream role or dream job okay so the short term goal is that after that obviously the long term goal to become a data science engineer or iot engineer or anything will be achieved if you have this short term goal please focus on that coming to third third point don't bluff yourself see what happens you know your mind is culprit what it tells you know uh, if you if you have done something Uh, it tells you okay you have done a great job for today uh, you enjoy your day otherwise uh, it, it tells you uh, it's okay Wh what's there uh, if you are not working out today tomorrow you can do it procrastination okay it procrastinates uh, it's okay we can do it after two days it's okay we can do it after a week what you are doing you know you are uh, you are losing your path don't do that don't do that don't bluff yourself my dear friends i am telling again don't bluff yourself okay if you bluff yourself you are going to lose yourself no one is going to help you you have to buckle yourself you have to show some seriousness towards your life otherwise you are a loser coming to my second slide i have categorized students into three that is why this topic says three categories of students okay first category is students who have joined engineering or any other course with their interest this percentage is very low why because even i am not uh, uh, fitting into this category when when i was doing my engineering i didn't join engineering because of my interest okay okay i fit into category 2 people who have uh, joined engineering or any other course with their interest they have some intention in their mind they want to become something and that is why they have taken up that course they fall under category 1 category 2 students who have joined with influence with the influence of your parents with the influence of your siblings with the influence of your neighbors or relatives or someone else people who gets influenced by someone else they are not uh, like they are not uh, they'll not achieve what they want actually until unless they self motivate themselves or they self inspire themselves okay if you are into that uh, course whether it is engineering or any other thing 
if you have come with the influence okay start exploring about engineering or whatever course you have taken if you are not finding interest anyways you have come into it uh, complete that and try to explore what interests you let's take an example let's suppose uh, there is a person called uh, ram ram is interested in dance from his childhood he used to do so many programs in dance uh, in his school he was getting good name in the dance but he is an average student in his education okay but his parents or uh, his siblings has asked him to join engineering or any other course for getting good job okay he has joined it after his joining he got to know that in his first year only he 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 got to know that he is he is not fitting into engineering or in his second year he got to know it few people they'll get to know in in their third year or fourth year okay it's too late my dear friends okay and uh, most of the students come from middle class background okay you can't fight with your parents uh, saying that this is my passion i want to work in that direction if you are in the middle class most of them are in the middle class you can't fight with your parents why because even parents have uh, few uh, few things in their mind where they cannot express in that what i suggest is why because i counsel i counsel thousands of students whatever i am telling is out of my experience okay if you are in that zone then what you can do is you can focus on your education at the same time what interests you 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 spend your time on that in my next slide i am telling you how to divide your time okay so people who are under this category do your education at the same time don't leave your passion why because the generation has changed in this particular time you have opportunity for everything only thing is your hard work matters and your uh, allocation of time matters you allocate it properly and then uh, uh, strive towards your passion then you are, you will become successful and i am uh, in this category too okay uh, whatever i am doing now i have done so many things in my life and i fit into category 2 i did my education i am from middle class background i satisfied my parents i satisfied the society at the same time whatever i wanted to do i am doing it okay then third category students again majority of the students are in this they are orientationless they don't know what to do they don't know what their skills are and uh, i mean uh, they are lost they are lost in their childhood only they don't want to do education and at the same time they don't know what to do and what their strengths are again most of the students are in this direction in my next slide i am going to tell what you have to do if you are in this category 1 category 2 or category 3 now this is my last slide very important slide you see the topic dividing time into packets see i am not telling you sit for 12 hours 10 hours in a day do your hard work i am not telling that in a day take 4 hours in your initial days again progress that to 6 hours and once you progress that if you find interest you sit for 8 hours or 10 hours but initially okay take 4 hours or 6 hours packet okay i'm i said this divide your time into packets okay if you are uh, starting this divide your time see 4 hours is nothing you have 24 hours in your uh, in in your day if you sleep for 8 hours also 8 hours is done and if you are enjoying with your games or friends or anything you give 4 hours to that 12 hours okay 8 plus 4 is 12 and then uh, for eating or taking rest what happens take 4 hours 12 plus 4 is 16 hours still you are left out with so much time my dear friends please open your eyes see i have given you time for everything time for your games time for your friends time for your food time for your exercise and time for your sleep i i said 8 hours sleep it's more but also i said that still you are left out with so much time 8 hours of time is left out in that also i am asking you
I'm sorry. I'm asking you to divide it into four to six hours. In my previous slide, I said three categories. Let me take first category who have come with their interest. Students in category one, you know what you want. Focus on it and achieve it in steps. See, whatever your long term goal is, you have to achieve with your short term goals. I already said the example in my previous slide. If you want to become a data science engineer, first you learn programming languages which are required for that Python or C language or R anything. You achieve your short term goals and step by step if with your short term goal success, you will achieve your long term goal. You know what you want and you are focused. Achieve it in steps. Nothing more for the category one. Coming to category two. People who are, who are into their course with influence from others. What you have to do is you divide your four hours packet into two plus two. Two hours plus two hours. Or if you are in uh, six hours uh, packet, three hours plus three hours. First two hours, explore yourself. Why? Because you have some talent in you. You have some skill in you. Whether it can be a dance or movie making or music or art or content writing anything anything interests you you spend two hours on it what to do go on youtube explore what what kind of uh, videos are there who are your uh, mentors online mentors find some online mentors offline mentors if it is difficult to find if you have offline mentor it's good but if you don't have don't complain go on uh, online youtube or anywhere find some online mentors try to mail them Try to uh, talk to them on YouTube or on their Gmail or on their WhatsApp or Instagram or Facebook. Okay. Now the world is open to everyone. Try to find them. Try to follow them and try to know how to excel in whatever you like. Spend two hours on it. And the next two hours you are in your uh, degree already. You have spent your one year or two years. Don't stop there. Two hours you spend on it. Finish that program. It, whether it is engineering or anything else so spend some time on it why because my personal experience says if you have uh, education then you can do anything okay I did my BTEC I did my MTEC uh, I did my uh, PG in some other course and then I, I did my PhD in uh, esteemed uh, university and that helped me a lot why because education experience will give you so many things upon this I have done so many I do short films, I direct so many ads, I write scripts. See, why I'm giving my example is I am the example. Why? Because I didn't do my education properly in my first three years of engineering. After that, I opened my eyes and whatever I am doing, I'm doing now. Okay. That is why I'm, I give my example uh, very often. So that is what category two people have to do. Then coming to category three. Okay. First, find what you can do. What you can do, please, please just sit, sit with your friends, sit with your faculty or mentor, sit with your parents or sit with your friends or your brother or sister also. You just ask them. They, they are the people who are observing you. Your friends are first, first persons who will be observing you. They might have observed you for so many days. Our brother or sister might, might be observing you for so many other days. Parents are observing, but they don't know other uh, other side of you. Other side of you is known to your friends or your brothers and sisters. Sit with them, ask them, what are my capabilities? What I can do? And pick out all those points, write down on a, on a paper and find yourself, you know. Okay, I, I have these capabilities. I can talk well. I can, uh, I can uh, convince people well. If you, are, if you have that capability, then you can become marketing or sales engineer. You can write things well. You can write poems. You can, uh, you can write some dialogues. Then you can enter into film industry or at least start doing some short films. Okay. I, I hope you understood what I'm trying to tell. If you are orientationless, first jot down what are your strengths. If you jot down what are your strengths, and then you consult your mentor, online mentor or offline mentor, then you will get 
to know about yourself and you can do something in your interest area this is what my friends i just wanted to tell i have categorized it into three categories category 1 students category 2 students and category 3 students i am asking you to divide your time into packets and try to have some short term goals achieve your short term goals and then obviously your long term goals will be set and i am the uh, i am the example for you okay i made some short term goals and then whatever i want i am achieving in my uh, whatever long term goals i have one thing i wanted to tell you i i, I am ready to spend my time whatever doubts you have or any doubts you can comment in my youtube uh, comment section whatever i can do i can do i can help you but i can't help everyone but i try to find uh, my time I, i am telling you i wake up at 3 or 3:30 if there is uh, so much i'll wake up at 2:30 also i want to help you people trust me i can find some mentors also i can guide you people in doing that focus on it try to share to many i am not asking for views i am not that kind of person uh, try to share so that others also will get educated thank you very much uh, if you if you want me to speak on any other topic comment in the youtube section so that i can make video i can motivate you people i can inspire you people with my experience thank you very much